The event that Auckland foodies have been waiting for is getting ready to return and it's set to be the biggest yet. Get your trundle bags ready. For four days only, ASB Showgrounds will play home to the food show at Auckland with visitors coming from far and wide to uncover new culinary treats and get tips from our favourite chefs as well. To tell us more, please welcome to the cafe, Sarah Chapman. Welcome. Thank you. It is lovely to have you here. I love the food, uh, food show and I do know that you've got to take your trundle bag to get all your goodies <laughs> yeah, and all the, all the deals and things. Um, I learnt that the hard way one year. Um, tell us a little bit, so you've been doing this food show now for three years, Yes. so what are the current trends coming through? Yeah, so over the last kind of six or 12 months we've seen a huge increase in the plant-based type foods. Um, this is a trend across the board, as well as the plant-friendly packaging. Um, I think this is growing more and more as consumers become more aware yeah. of the impacts and things that it's having on the environment. Alongside that is uh, multi fusion foods. So we're lucky enough this year to have a company called Katahi, um, as well as Monique Fiso on the Neff Cooking Theatre, who's going to be um, demonstrating multi-fusion um, cuisine. So um, that's a key one to look out for. And another one that's um, popular and it's kind of built over the last six or 12 months is um, cold brew coffee. Um, yeah, I've seen this everywhere. Yeah, yeah. so it's kind of, um, it started probably back into last year and it's just con continue to grow um, more and more this year. We've got one company called Lafare um, that's actually launching their cold brew range at the food show this year and they're going to have coffee sodas as well as a cascara soda. So for those who don't know, um, cascara is actually the cherry skin or the husk of the coffee itself and it has a floral, fr fruity flavour. Oh, wow. So, yeah. I didn't know what that was, but I didn't want to ask. No, but that's a great <laughs> example of what the food show offers. Yeah. People get to know where their food is from, they learn about the new and exciting products. How does it compare to other food festivals around the world? Yeah, so I think New Zealand as a whole is very well renowned and has a um, really top reputation for good quality food and beverage. And I think that follows through into the event sector as well. Um, I particularly think that, you know, Auckland Food Show um, fo really focuses on the artisan sector, so we've got so many amazing mm. quality and mm. quantity, um, the quality and quantity of uh, small artisan producers in New Zealand is fantastic. Mm. So we really like to drive that at the Auckland Food Show as well as our regional um, feature groups. So, you know, you can come along to the food show and see over 324 exhibitors, but you also can actually take a trip down, down to Hall 1 or Hall 2 and actually see other regions within New Zealand. Um, also, the international sector is fantastic. You know, New Zealand is becoming more and more diverse, and um, in terms of the food offerings, and we've got over 24 um, international countries representing amazing food and be beverage products. So you can take your taste buds on a tour around the world, essentially, all oh, within wow. the Auckland Food Show. That sounds amazing. Now, you've got some great, um, some of our favourite chefs there too. Nadia, Chelsea, um, Simon, Luke Hines as well. Yeah. Uh, so you can go and see them in action. But what are some of the great tips for getting the most out of the food show? Yeah, so I'd, I'd recommend, um, firstly, plan your day. So the biggest thing is plan um, your day in terms of finding out when your favourite chef is actually going to be on the Neff Cooking Theatre. Um, the last thing you want to do is turn up and you to miss, um, say, for example, Annabelle White or Luke Hines. Yeah. Um, also, make sure, if you can, pre-purchase your ticket before you come to the food show. Rather than waiting in queues, you can walk straight on in um, and then you, know, you can spend more time seeing all the amazing exhibits around the show. Uh, also... We are, um, as you mentioned earlier as well, the trolley bags. If you can, <laughs> if you can, um, bring a bag that has wheels on it because there's going to be so many amazing um, food show specials yeah, and yeah. you're not going to be able to turn away and say no to them. That's so exactly right. make sure you have a trolley bag. <laughs> and one quick thing I want to say is we are putting on a food show bus this year. So um, if you can, take public transport to Green Lane train station and the food show are putting on a bus that will pick you up from the Z petrol station and bring you down to the ASB showgrounds and it's all free on Saturday and Sunday. Awesome. All you need is your food show ticket. Sounds Brilliant. great. And I'll tell you what, if you can't get a trolley bag, just take your suitcase. Thank you so much, Sarah. <laughs> Thank you. Great tips. Now the food show kicks off tomorrow through to Sunday at the ASB showgrounds. Gate entry is $28 for adults, $15 for kids and under fives are free. For more info, you can head along to the website foodshow.co.nz. Yeah, we'll see you there tomorrow. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs>